couple of logs coming up that I'm not so sure about without a clutch. Oh, oh, hold it on. And not too bad. Oh fuck! Oh, that's me knee. You can't. Tree bumpkin. Skids and stuff. I was on a ride recently where one of the guys had a problem with his clutch cable. It was starting to fray. It looked like it was gonna let go on him and he was quite upset by this. He seemed to think that he was gonna be stranded out the bush if it let go completely. I was a bit stumped by this because as far as I'm concerned, you just keep riding, you just limp it out of the bush you, and you, you're fine. And then I realized not everybody has umpteen years and thousands of hours of experience on these machines. So they may not realize that, sure, it's not necessarily ideal, but you also aren't up shit creek when this happens, if your clutch lever breaks or your cable breaks. Thankfully, I guess, this has actually happened to me just lately. Also, um, a few weeks ago, I snapped my lever on my clutch, so I had to limp it out. So I've got some footage and I figure I'll just take some people through it. A couple of little tips and techniques that you can use to get out safety, limp the bike home, and then you'll be sweet. I got myself in a bit of a pickle sweeping a hard enduro on the war pig. I was stuck in some rocks and it seems the aftermarket clutch lever that's cast out of beach sand and peanut butter wasn't too keen on a vigorous workout that morning and snapped clean off at the perch. Nah, no, something just... Fucking clutch lever just snapped. I still have to get out of here. And here's how we do. Now, a lot of gearboxes aren't going to exactly love this next bit. More so on tarmac, more on that later. But it's not like you're going to be making a habit out of it and most bikes are going to be fine as a once-off in case of emergency type situation. Get her fired up in neutral, get the revs up, and then stomp the gear lever down into first gear. You can also get the bike rocking back and forth a little bit and smack it into gear on the forward motion to give it a little help along. This didn't get me far here. Once you're moving, keep in mind that you want to look far ahead so you can read the terrain and the obstacles and make decisions especially early. I'm not gonna say I ain't scared. Coming through here with no clutch. Staying in first gear where possible means you will have more time to assess and also it's typically easier to hit neutral coming up from first rather than down from second. I just hope I hit neutral when I need to. <laughs> Keep your kill switch covered or in mind in case you don't catch neutral when needed. Oh fuck. Do. Keep momentum as best as possible. Uh, hold it on. Uh, not too bad. Don't. Oh, not keep momentum over wet angled logs because you won't be able to pull the clutch lever in to disengage the rear wheel if you do do a skid on it. Uh, oh, that's me knee. You can... oh. Do stop on a hill or the high side of the track to suss out the situation. This will make it easier to get moving again. Don't spaz out and crash into a tree. Ah! Like this idiot. Now to get moving on the street can be a little bit trickier. Let's hope you made it this far into the vid so you're not going off half cocked. If you are still here, chuck us a like. There's a couple ways to do it. Pull over to the side of the road, get it down into neutral, then you can just get the revs up and bash it into gear as if we're on the dirt. Start on a hill. Do a running start. Just jokes. You only need a few steps to get a move and then jump on. Make sure you miss the gear lever when you jump until you're ready. Oh. You can just bash the gear down like we were on the dirt. It's pretty nasty. It's not nice to do on the road, but sometimes that's your only option. Get your revs up. Get your weight forward. And buddy, hang on. 
now that we're out in the open we're going to need to be able to change gears the main thing to keep in mind is to match your engine revs for the change when you're going up a gear you want to have a higher rpm this avoids the crunches going up and then when you so high rpm make the change when you're coming down a gear drop the rpm way low drop the levs low and click it down and then should stop the clunks on the way down as well at traffic lights you can employ a little trucker's trip to avoid the stopping and starting you got to read the traffic and slow down well in advance and read when the lights are going to turn green so you get down to first gear nice and early and now we can keep our momentum and just follow onto the back of these cars and cruise on through If you have any questions or input on something I may have missed, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you like the video, let us know by smashing that like button. It's the little thumb down at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to the page for more vids. Peace!